Hello and welcome to another Halloween video from Nova Halloween. On my channel, one of the things that I get asked for most often is a how-to video on making a hologram illusion. So today I'm going to show you exactly how to do this. First, a disclaimer though. Technically what you will be seeing today is a 2D effect, not a true hologram. I think we're still quite a few years away from hologram projectors, so that will have to wait a while longer. However, as a 2D simulation of a hologram, I think this is an awesome effect and looks very convincing. The basic method involves projecting your video, Halloween or otherwise, onto some kind of a translucent mesh that captures the images, doesn't allow too much light to get through, but still allows you to see the room and, and any objects behind it. The illusion that you want to create is that the ghost or whatever you're projecting is actually in the room and you can see through the character. You'll probably need to fine-tune the lighting in the room and experiment with different kinds of mesh to really nail the effect, but I'll talk a bit more about this later. Anyway, the effect can be set up inside or outside, and last year I set up something similar on the, uh, the outside of my house. There's a link for that video in the description below. Go ahead and check that out. Now, it's September today and it's probably too early to be setting up a Halloween display on the outside. Not according to me, but my neighbors may disagree. Uh, today I'm going to show you the, uh, the setup inside. All the materials that you need and the final results. You could apply the same method for an outdoor display as well. Alright, I know you want me to get to it, so let's look at what you need to pull this off. First, you need a projector. This is an Epson Powerlite 2030. 1080p, 1800 lumens, you may have seen this projector in some of my other videos. Here's my recommendation on projectors. I get to ask this question a lot. What should I get for these Halloween displays? Get a traditional full-size projector. A mini projector probably won't give you great results. Um, and don't even think about buying one of those super cheap mini LED projectors on eBay. If you want to see how absolutely worthless these things are, you really need to watch a video that I did on a $40 uh, mini LED projector that I, I picked up on eBay. The link is, is in the description. Number two, avoid LED projectors in general. Number three, get one with at least 2,000 lumens. Number four, stick to the brand names if you can, Epson, Optima, uh, BenQ. Number five, try to get at least 720p resolution. Anything less and you'll start to see pixels on larger displays. Number six, try to get an HDMI connection, makes your setup much easier. And finally, number seven, rather than a new projector with less than ideal specs or even adequate specs, buy a used one on eBay. I purchased a few like this for half the cost that they would have been new, and they've been great. You're obviously going to need a scene to display. Atmosphere FX is my go-to company for Halloween hologram illusions. There's a few titles here on DVD and a link to Atmosphere in the description. If you choose to use DVDs, you need a player. I'm using a small Blu-ray player here. In addition to the DVDs, Atmosphere also, they have their titles available for download and on SD cards. The advantage is that they're in 1080p. The DVDs are obviously not. The disadvantage is that they're a little more expensive. If you go with the download or the SD card, you'll need a media player. I picked this small one up again on eBay for $35. So far it's working well. If you buy one of these, make sure that it has the type of audio and video connections that you need. Next, you need a fabric to project onto. I'm using the official Halusion material from Atmosphere. It sells for $50. It's 5.5 feet by 9 feet, and it works really well. It has a gray appearance. It's a bit stretchy. Now, you don't actually need to use this for your effect. If you take a trip to a fabric store, you can probably get a very good substitute for half this price. You need to look for a fabric that will produce a sharp image, doesn't let too much light shine through, but something that you can still see through. Obviously, you need to experiment to find the right fabric. Suggestion here, uh, take a flashlight with you to test the material and you should be able to find what you're looking for. And finally, you need some lighting. I have the fire and ice lights from Spirit Halloween. I like the effect that these produce, but regular lights would be fine also. You just need a bit of lighting, nothing too bright. Again, some experimentation will be necessary. Um, you don't need a skeleton, he's just here to supervise. 
Here's the material unfolded. It's a good size for most projections. You can see that it's fairly dark. Um, the fabric doesn't need to be so thin that it's really easy to see through. As you'll see when we look at the final video, you won't even notice the fabric in the final effect. It really is quite convincing and, and quite amazing. I have some clips on the corner of the fabric, but this isn't necessary for what I'm doing today. I used this last year for my outdoor display, and in order to hang it, I used a fishing line that you can see here, and I have a, a seam th sewed uh, along the edge to feed it through. The fabric actually doesn't come from atmosphere with the, uh, the seam sewn like this. We had to add this. Doing this is really helpful for outdoor displays when you may not have the ideal location to hang your fabric and you may need to use trees or other objects um, in your yard or wherever it is that you're putting up the, uh, the fabric. Okay, so let's hang this up. Do the left side and the right side. If this was a more permanent display, I'd attach it a bit better, but for a demonstration, just hanging it above here is, is perfectly fine. So here it is in place. It's important that it's tight. You may want to add some tape at a few points around the edges. Now it looks like this is going to be really easy to see, but remember this is daytime not when you want to create this illusion. At nighttime, this fabric is going to disappear and all you'll see is the hologram effect. So the sun has set and now we need to set up our lights. I have three lights, one on the floor and two on the table. Plug in the first one, the second one, and the last one. and we're almost ready to go. Now we just need to kill the lights and this is our background room. Now before I show you the final effect, I do hope that you found this tutorial helpful. If you did, please subscribe and maybe give it a thumbs up to support the channel. So let's take a look at the, uh, the end product here. Crystal Ball, revere all. This enchantment will illuminate thy fate. Hold your tongues. The spirits are answering. Spirit world test. Is it too late? Or may they still alter their fate? Dark tidings present themselves. Very dark for you, I'm afraid. Another presence trying to come through. Something darker and more troubling still. You are mistaken, spirit. This is not my fate. With my words, stay in thy hands.
the spirits have flown. All you have left to fear is your future unknown. <laughs> Thank you for watching. If you like this video or if you have any questions, let me know in the comments section below. Of course, you can give it a thumbs up and hit that subscribe button for more Halloween demos, reviews, and how-tos. See you next time.